In this video, I'm going to show you how to do motion tracking in Filmora 13. Now, when I say motion tracking, I am referring to this, not this. So let's get right into it. Okay, so firstly, you're going to want to get your clip, put it on the timeline, so on and so forth. I'm assuming most of you are familiar with Filmora and already know about this part, but now into the motion tracking part. First, you're going to want to find what portion of the clip you want to track. So in this video, it's just a little example video um, on Overwatch, and I am going to track this Roadhog right here in front of me. So I will split it right here at this portion, which is where I want to start the motion tracking. And then I am going to go to the portion where I'm going to end, which is going to be about right here where he's starting to get kind of off my screen and split it right there. Okay, so after selecting your clip that you are going to do motion tracking on, you're going to right click on your clip and click edit properties. And then it will add this big window that has all these effects and stuff and edits that you can put on your video. So next, what you're gonna wanna do is I'm assuming you're going to want to zoom and track on your subject, which is what I'm gonna be doing. So in this scale right here, I usually leave this um, locked. If you unlock it, you can adjust the X axis by itself or just the Y axis by itself. It's completely up to you, but I like keeping it locked. And then I will zoom in to a certain amount on the video, probably about right there. And then I will hover over my subject, which is gonna be this road hog in the video. Now, once you've done that, then click on this button right here, which is a keyframe button above uh, transform and and it'll select every single one of these. And then what you do after that is click on this button right here to go forward a single frame and go forward three frames and then drag them back center, three frames and then center hog again or whatever your subject is. In this case, mine is road hog. But you're gonna go up three frames and then you're going to center your subject again and just repeat that until you get all the way through your selected clip. Now, after you've done all that, then you can go back and see the final product. So it's not perfect and it's not exactly like Premiere Pro or, you know, the more advanced softwares, but for a software that's only $40 for a lifetime subscription, I think it's uh, pretty good and I really enjoy it. It's very user-friendly as well. So those of you that do also use Filmora, um, I have found a video on this before, but it was back in Filmora 9 or 10 and it has changed a lot since then. So I do hope this helped you guys. If it did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys next time.